Ansma from the Central Region. My heartfelt indebtedness goes to God Almighty for bringing us this far. The people of Central Region, especially Mr. Ahin Wubibi of Abra, Honorable Ophelia Kwanza Hayford, Honorable Echo Opinion Ochre, Dr. Nana Kumkwampa the first of Dentra, Torres Sports Jokwa, Miss Milan, the residents and management of Oguaho UCC, and to everybody out there supporting me, Mr. Medahumasia on Sada. Come with me tonight as I tour around exciting places in the central region with a friend visiting Ghana for the first time. I can see yet that be a yanyan, a strong one. Uncle down to our bam, mum. Nayam Buama, a far babbing in Babbis, a banner when your quan one goes to cool no. On Sia and San Ujuma, no no swinging bay opinion, papa. Please keep me in this contest by dialing star 713 star 13 hash and follow the prompts to vote for Kwan or download the TV3 reality app on Google Play Store or on the Apple App Store. Thank you. Quantumai is clothed by Millie K Garments with hair by Best and More Limited. Ladies well-groomed by African American Beauty Academy. Inspiring beauty beyond borders. Accessories by Magdal Kutu. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are all doing great. Thank God. Well, last week I had, um, I, I had an interesting tour to South Africa. And today I want to share with you some tourist sites from my region. I had the opportunity to talk to my friend Johnson, who has promised me to visit Ghana for the very first time. And I urged him to visit the central region when he comes. I am going to share with you some of the reasons. But first, join me as we observe a minute's silence. For my former regional minister, a fallen heroine, Ama Benyuado. May your soul rest in peace. When we say we are the heartbeat for Ghana's tourism, Onyeka Sakekil, even during the recent year of return, Ghana rigged an amount of 1.9 billion US dollars as investment, all because we had international tourists trooping in and out of my region. Now let me take you through the itinerary of how I am going to host Johnson when he comes to Ghana, especially my region. Once I pick him from the airport, I am going to take him home, where he's going to be offered a seat after initial pleasantries, which is very traditional in my region. He is then going to be offered water, and then our delicious and sumptuous Etsuna Infante Fante Papebi, Edibana Didi, thank you which is our staple food. This is to show that he's welcome. And this is how my people show their hospitality. For an immersive experience, we are going to start our tour by lodging at Fort Good Hope at Senyabreku, which was built by the Dutch in 1667, but has now been renovated into a beautiful guest house. Early in the morning, we are going to start our venture as we visit the Kakum National Park where he's going to have a feel of nature and take a hike on the canopy walkway. A few minutes drive away from the Kakum National Park is the International Stingless Bee Center. Ehu Adwa, Ombo, Nane Woyedo, Prime Fim Manto Mnabenyebi. These types of bees are so rare and they produce the best type of honey. And I know that Johnson likes honey. We will then visit the Asen Manso Ancestral Slave River also called Adonkosu, to relieve how our ancestors had their last bath on the African soil before they were taken to the diaspora as slaves, and then visit the gravesite of the two ancestral slaves, Samuel Carson, and mother of Jamaica, which, who is also known as Mother Crystal, whose bodies, whose remains were symbolically returned back through the door of no return, reversing it to the door of return. I am taking Johnson to this site because I want him to connect to the souls of our ancestors since he's of African descent. And then our spectacular festival. But because of time, I won't talk about it. But I will make sure I take him to the Orange Friday Street Carnival, which is part of the Fetu Afashe, celebrated by the people of Cape Coast. Wakanda forever. 
I invite all diasporans to come back home and invest in the Wakanda City project, which was initiated by my leaders to boost the pilgrimage of diasporas back home. Apart from these interesting sites, there are some sites that have been left desolate, like the Commander Caves, which was created by the sea waves. According to history, during the World War II, Queen Elizabeth II and her royal family were hidden in this cave when there was war. This is very marvelous. We can all attest to the fact that the Central Region's tourism contributes greatly to Ghana's economy, so we should do well to promote it. Mm. Apart from that... And that's all time. Sorry, young lady. That's all time we'll allow. Please, a round of applause for Kwansima all the way from the Central Region. Fritz, are you ready with your comments for Kwansima? Yeah. Um, Kwansima, you, I liked the creative way in which you introduced the subject. Thank but you. you omitted something that was very, very important. You're talking about the guys who returned to Ghana and all, the, and all that, and you didn't mention Elmina Castle and Cape Coast Castle. You started with Good Hope, and you didn't finish. You didn't talk about Anumabo and all those places, because you wanted to, you went out of kilter a bit. Um, well, what you did was good in terms of creative terms, but I think you could have done far more and quicker, quicker than that, because the central region has got everything and has got what it takes. Okay. Anyway, congratulations. Thank congratulations you. to you, Kwasma. Honorable, did she sell her region fairly enough for you? Yes, please. Um, this stage is very critical. You will be going on to hopefully the next stage if we uh, assess you very well you missed out very, very important, significantly, what makes central region the beacon of tourism is the two giants, Cape Coast Castle and Elmina Castle. So next time, make sure those are your first points you bring up. Okay. And the people, that was one key element that you missed, the people. So, but overall, you did well, you are eloquent, and you are very poised. Thank you. All right, a round of applause for Kwansima from the Central Region. Tonight, like Honorable said, is very crucial. And if you want to keep Kwansima in the competition, star 713, star 13, add her name, vote in bulk as many times as possible to keep her in the competition. Kwansima, so there's a last question here. You don't even have to pick, it's the last one. So I would open it. I would open it and go straight to the point. Can I take the question? Yes. Okay. What do you know, Kwansma, about the African Continental Free Trade Area and why was it founded? Okay. Good evening once again and thank you for the question. On the 18th Common or Normal Fellowship of World Leaders, I mean African Leaders and the Governments of the African Union, AU, on the African Union, AU, in Addis Ababa, on January 2012, to January 2012, it was agreed that there was going to be a continental free trade area, which was to be indicative, indicative by 2017. This was going to happen between 54 African countries with over, one, with over more than one billion people combined. Now, the Secretariat is found here in Ghana. It was also to implement a plan to boost the... It was, um, it was, um, it was to implement a plan to boost the intra-African trade. Now, the reasons why it was created was, one, to, to expand the intra-African trade by, by, harmonization, um, by harmonization and coordination of um, liberalization of trade, and also to get a single continental market for goods and services, and also for the free movement of investors and business, um, for investors and business persons. Thank you. Kwansma from the Central Region. Judges, you have any follow-up question for Kwansma? No follow-up question. Okay, Kwansma, thank you very much. Please, a round of applause for Kwansma this evening.